Hi everyone, I thought I'll give you a brief introduction to the Skyleader 600 retractable gear version. Um, over the weekend, uh, myself and a friend of mine, Raj, uh, we were in Jihlava uh, to have a uh, check out this beauty. This is a pretty relatively new Skyleader 600, about a year old, uh, with a dual carbon G3X panel and has the Rotax 912 IS engine. The Skyleader 600 has been in production for quite a few years. Um, so it's it's a proven design um, or with over 200 of them have been built and flying in kind of various parts of the world uh, mainly in the states and South America and uh, and rest of Europe and because of this new uh, 600 kilogram uh, category in the UK for microlights uh, we were able to bring these um, quite big robust aircraft uh, uh, into the UK now uh, because of that increase in weight from 475 to 600 kilograms because the empty weights on these are in the 350 kilogram mark so with the 600 Skyleader 600 it's quite a big aircraft wingspan and length are uh, you know, very similar to a four-seater aircraft that I fly the Sling TSI um, inside there's plenty of space and um, it's very easy to step in and out with, because the canopy slides back all the way makes it uh, you can kind of uh, stand on the wing and step on board and then stand straight up uh, before you sit down on the seat the seats are adjustable as well and there's plenty of uh, baggage space at the back uh, in terms of this particular one was a retractable gear so hence there's no spats and um, you can see as um, Raj and Mikkel get ready for the uh, demo flight um, the, on the right, under the right wing, you have the uh, pitot-static tube, which is a scarly drone design. And you've got your typical lights. You can have the um, so this is the scarly drone design uh, pitot tube. Excuse your airspeed indication and your. Um, there's no separate static board. That that pitot tube itself is your static uh, source. You got your normal uh, position lights and your tail mounted strobe. This particular aircraft is fitted with parachute, hence the warning triangle. Um, the rear air elevator has uh, two trim tabs on either side. Both are powered by a servo motor, electrically controlled. One is pilot operated and the other is kind of linked to the flaps so as to reduce the control forces when you deploy the flaps. Um, with this aircraft, with the you know um, retractable gear, the and the big massive fall of flaps, the operating range is quite quite uh, operating speed range is quite high. Uh, hence the need for the yeah. So in, because you operate at a very low stall speed, and um, that lets you operate at a very low stall speed. Um, just uh, just over 35 knots or so and um, you still have the uh, you can cruise quite fast so the big fall of flaps uh, makes those short landings possible and this is them heading off uh, for a demonstration flight and the the wind had really picked up by then uh, we were seeing nearly um, 20 knots or so on the ground and uh, for, for the exp for the route they were planning the we were expecting nearly 30 knot uh, headwind but it was only a short hop and so the plan was to just go up and uh, have a feel probably not the ideal day to uh, demonstrate an aircraft uh, where you're looking for uh, more stable conditions uh, to have a good feel of it it's, um, yeah the the winglets are another feature I mean those are fiberglass winglets the rest of the aircraft is all, all metal so it's uh, typical all metal aircraft construction prop rivets throughout and some of the there are some solid rivets in the, the wing spars and the trailing edge things like that which are you know specifically done for for strength and so with the scarlet the 600 you have the option of the Rotax 100 horse ULS or the um, 912 IS uh, which um, gives it a better fuel economy uh, there is a weight penalty when you add the IS engine but uh, but it kind of makes up uh, in that uh, 
fuel efficiency that you save and also then you don't have issues with uh, carburetors um, the IS is a little bit more reliable the uh, the factory itself uh, in Jihlava has been relocated to a new facility, a much more modern facility, and the quality of work is outstanding, has always has always been. Um, as you can see, some of the uh, this is a 600 that's in production. Um, the other pedals, which will also act as the uh, tow brakes, and the luggage compartment. As you can see, so this is the box that fits in the luggage compartment. Um, its capacity is about 30 kilograms and uh, there is a lot of space you can pretty much almost fit a, a golf bag standing up with all that uh, room when, when, when the box is inserted so quite a big uh, luggage compartment and it's easily accessible when you are in flight because there's quite a bit of gap between the two seats and, and there's plenty of shoulder width so easy to turn around and grab something from the back the the standard um, wing, uh, the lighting for the landing lights or uh, taxi lights, uh, you can have lights on both wings or just the, just the one wing on the left wing uh, like this one had. Um, the other options include uh, the propeller, you can have a constant speed prop or a fixed pitch prop. Again, it all depends on the weight, uh, weight and, uh, and empty weight target of the customer and also uh, what the mission is. Um, the ballistic parachute is an optional extra on the 600, and the um, and in terms of avionics, we could do anything in terms of uh, dual Dynon screens, or dual Garmin screens, or even Canadia-based systems uh, can be incorporated as the yes, your main avionics suit. Uh, all in all, Scalita 600 is a great addition to the UK fleet of uh, new 600 kilogram microlights. And if you have any questions, just visit our website at uh, flyskyleader.co.uk.